Welcome back everyone. So um, today we're going to read the chapter The Great Plan. Now we know that it's nearly time for those big awful giants to go off to England um, and they want to eat some children tonight. And Sophie doesn't want it to happen. She's 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 adamant they can stop them she's so determined and passionate about it and at the moment the bfg just doesn't think it's possible let's see what this great plan is we've absolutely got to stop them sophie cried put me back in your pocket quick and we'll chase after them and warn everyone in england they're coming ridiculous and impossible the bfg said he's going two times as fast as me and he's finishing their guzzle before we is halfway but we can't just sit here doing nothing sophie cried how many girls and boys are they going to eat tonight many the bfg said the flesh lump eating giant alone has a most squackling whoopsy appetite will he snatch them out of their beds while they're sleeping like peas out of a puddle the bfg said i can't bear to think of it sophie cried then don't the bfg said for years and years i sit in here in this very rock every night after night when they is galloping away and i is feeling so sad for all those human beings there's going to bobble up i has had to get used to it there is nothing i can do if i wasn't a titchy little runty giant only twenty four feet high then i would be stopping them but that is absolutely out of the window do you always know where they're going sophie asked always the bfg asked said every night they is yelling at me as they go bootling past the other day they was yelling we is off to mississippi and missouri to guzzle them both disgusting sophie said i hate them she and the big big friendly giant sat quietly side by side on the blue rock in the gathering dust sophie had never felt so hopeless in her life after a while she stood up and cried out i can't stand it just think of those poor girls and boys who are going to be eaten alive in a few hours time we can't just sit here and do nothing we've got to go after those brutes no the bfg said we must sophie cried why won't you go the bfg sighed and shook his head firmly i was to i told you about six or seven times and the third will be the last i is never showing myself to human beings why ever not if i do they will be putting me in the zoo with all the jelly rafts and catty piggies nonsense said sophie said and they will be sending you straight back to an orphanage the bfg went on grown-up human beings is not famous for their kindness they is all squiffle rotters and grink sludgers that simply isn't true sophie cried angrily some of them are very kind indeed who oh, the bfg said name one the queen of england sophie said you can't call her a swift rotter or a grink sludger well the bfg said you can't call her a sweet people or not much of either sophie said getting angrier and angrier the flesh lumpeter is longing dearly to guzzle her up the bfg said smiling a little now who the queen sophie cried aghast bfg answered flesh lump peter says he is never eating a queen and he thinks perhaps she has an especially scrumdily umptious flavour how dare you he sophie cried but flesh lump peter says there is too many soldiers around her palace and he doesn't try it he'd better not sophie said he is also saying he would like very much to guzzle one of the soldiers in his pretty red suit but he is worried about those big black furry hats they is wearing he thinks they might be sticking in his throat i hope he chokes sophie said flesh lumpeter is a very careful giant the bfg said sophie was silent for a few moments then suddenly in a voice filled with excitement she cried out i've got it my golly i think i've got it 
got what asked the bfg the answer cried sophie we'll go to the queen it's a terrific idea I w if i went and told the queen about those disgusting man-eating giants i'm sure she'd be doing something about it the bfg looked down at her sadly and shook his head she is never believing you he said never in a month of maize i think she would never the bfg said it, it sounds in such a wonky tall story the queen would be laughing and saying what awful rub switch he would not of course she would the bfg said i has told you before that human beings are simply not believing in giants then it's up to us to find a way of making her believe in them sophie said and how is she getting in to see the queen anyway the bfg asked now hold on a sec sophie said just you hold on a sec because i've got another idea your ideas is full of codswoggle the bfg said not this one sophie said you say that if we tell the queen she would never believe us i i certainly she wouldn't the bfg said but we aren't going to tell her sophie said excitedly we don't have to tell her we'll make her dream it that is an even more froth bungling suggestion the bfg said dreams is a lots of fun but nobody is believing in dreams either he was only believing in a dream while he was actually dreaming it as soon as she was waking up you saying oh thank goodness goodness i was only dreaming don't you worry about that part of it sophie said i can fix that never can you fix it the bfg said i can i swear i can but first of all let me ask you a very important question here it is can you make a person dream absolutely anything in the world anything you like the bfg said proudly if i said i wanted to dream that i was in a flying bathtub with silver wings could you make me dream it i could the bfg said but how said sophie you obviously don't have exactly that dream in your collection i do not the bfg said but i could soon be mixing it up how could you mix it up it's a little bit like mixing it the bfg said if you is putting the right amounts of all the different things into it you is making the cake come out any way you want sugary splongy currenty christmasy obswitchy it is the same with dreams go on sophie said i has dillions of dreams on my shelves right or left right sophie said i has dreams about bathtubs lots of them I has dreams about silver wings, I has dreams about flying. So all I has to do is mix those dreams together in a proper way, and I is very quickly making a dream where you is flying in a bathtub with silver wings. I see what you mean, Sophie said, but I didn't know you could mix one dream with another. Dreams like being mixed, the BFG answered. They is getting very lonesome all by themselves in those glassy bottles. Right, said Sophie. Now then, do you have dreams about the Queen of England? Lots of them, the BFG said. And about giants? Of course, the BFG said. And about giants eating people? Swiggles of them, the BFG said. And about little girls like me? those is commonest of all the bfg said i has bottles and bottles of dreams about little girls and you could mix them all up just as i want you to sophie asked getting more and more excited of course the bfg said but how is this helping us i think you is barking up the wrong dog now hold on sophie said listen carefully i want you to mix a dream which you will blow into the queen of england's bedroom when she is asleep and this is how it will go now hang on a minute the bfg said how was i possibly going to get near enough to the queen of england's bedroom to blow in my dream he was talking dumb silly i'll tell you that later sophie said for the moment please listen carefully here is a dream i want you to mix are you paying attention very close 
the beer. So we're going to stop there and next time we will find out what dream Sophie is asking the BFG to make. So we know that she's got some ingredients that she needs. She needs dreams about the Queen of England, about giants, about giants eating people and about little girls. And some of the problems we've got at the minute, which we need to think about, or how they're going to be solved. The BFG is wondering how they're going to get this dream to the Queen. And um, the BFG made a very good point there about how we don't believe our dreams are real. So if she gives it to the Queen as a dream, how is she going to get the Queen to believe that the dream is real? We will find out next time. And I've just got one little more thing to think about. Now, the giants are doing something very bad and very wrong. And the BFG knows about the fact that they are eating children. Okay, and Sophie knows about it as well. BFG has never done anything about it because he thinks the fact that he is half the size of the other giants. He's smaller than the other giants. He's not as strong as the other giants. He thinks that is the reason why he can't help. And Sophie is even smaller, like so much smaller than the BFG. Yet she thinks that they can help. So do we need to be as big and as strong as someone to, to stop them from doing something bad or is it about strength and size or can we use something else to stop bad things going wrong what else could we use that's very powerful that's not muscles okay have a think and i will see you next time